First to 10, who's going to lead the city of Clearwater? They don't have a mayor anymore. Mayor Frank Hibbert abruptly resigned today, right in the middle of a meeting. Packed his briefcase, got up and walked out, saying he disagrees with the direction the city is headed. It left city council members stunned. And tonight, we have new developments here at 10. Reaction from the city manager. Fox 13's Jordan Bowen's live outside City Hall tonight with this and more. Hi there, Jordan. I know you also spoke with the former mayor tonight by phone. What exactly did he say? Well, Mark, he says he feels he's not on the same page financially with the rest of the council and doesn't feel like they are being fiscally responsible. City manager Jennifer Poirier says she is saddened to see the mayor go and uh, like everyone was stunned today when he abruptly announced his resignation during a budget session. Here is how things went down. Take a look. Could we go ahead and talk about these high dollar amounts? First? Monday, the Clearwater City Council were discussing how to pay for about 30 capital improvement projects that would leave them with a $250 million deficit when Mayor Frank Hibbert spoke up. I think that's what we were doing with City Hall and Public Works. Well, we got those I need a five minute recess. When he returned, he announced he'd be resigning. I'm not the right leader for this council anymore. I'm concerned where the city is going because this is simple math. And we're not doing very well on the test. Early Monday night over the phone, Hibbard pointed to the same concerns about a possible quarter billion dollar deficit as part of his reasoning for stepping down. There clearly has not been a separation between wants and needs. So you feel like they just aren't being fiscally responsible? Well, I don't think you can say you're being fiscally responsible when we would have to bond an incredible amount of money and also dip into our reserves to a level that I think is irresponsible. They certainly have a difference of opinion. Clearwater City Manager Jennifer Poirier says the four council members have made it clear by their votes they want to move forward with the projects. That was the purpose of our strategic planning process was to go over um, and publicly vet what priorities the council wanted staff to focus on. Um, and so that's what we did. Also mentioned in the meeting, Hibbard said he'd like his replacement to be former council member Hoyt Hamilton and someone who doesn't run for re-election and only serves the remaining 11 months. Well, I appreciate his uh, confidence in me. My buddy did a great job and would love to have seen him uh, stay on and, and complete the things we got going. And Hamilton says he is up to do the job, but like he said, it won't be up to him. That'll be up to the city council. As the uh, city manager explained, uh, they will likely take this up at either their next meeting on April 4th or call a special meeting where they were try well, they were trying to uh, come together and agree on a next uh, someone to appoint to be the next mayor. If they vote and it ends up being a two to two tie, that, that could then lead to a special election uh, to elect the next mayor of Clearwater. So we will wait to see what happens here. Oh boy, we keep following it for us, Jordan. Thanks very much.